I'm here with Greg Zakowski, I'm Sean Miller, and uh, today hopefully we can relate a little bit of the producing aspect to the assistant directing side. Thank you for sitting down with me. Uh, so first off, how do you go about breaking down a script, and what does it mean to break down a script? Okay, well, a script will come to me in a couple of different formats. It'll either be usually Final Draft, which is a software program, or Movie Magic Screenwriter, uh, another equally good program. Uh, or they'll give me a physical script. Every now and then I'll get them as a PDF or uh, an RTF file, for those of you who know what that means. But I prefer to work within the software that is, uh, you know, Final Draft or Movie Magic. And I will take the paper draft of the script and I go through and I read each scene looking for what elements are in the scene uh, that need to be accounted for. Um, I preface that conversation with the producer and so he'll deliver me the script and I'll say, okay, so tell me about what our goals are here. Is this a big budget film? Is this a low budget film? Is it TV, movie? What, is, what are we creating here? Because that gives me a sort of parameters for um, what budget we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. It also gives me a time frame to work with. I'll then ask him, okay, are you looking to shoot, if it's a movie, 45 days, 90 days, 60 days, 30 days? Again, it gives me parameters. Because at some point I have to put the calendar into the program and say, we're starting on September 1st, all right? So I'll also ask him, when are we shooting? So if it's a summer film, I need to know that. Is it a winter film? Does it take place over multiple states? Are we traveling? Right. All those kinds of in pieces of information. Is there a star involved? Are there multiple stars involved? Um, how did he want to shoot the film? Are you going to try to do it some fancy way where there's all nine, four or five cameras all shooting at once? Are there multiple units? I, so I have to really get specific. Mm -hmm. If there's visual effects, that's a whole other road I've got to go down. If there's special effects, I've got to go down that road. How are you doing these things? Now I read the script and I'll look at it and say, okay, the first thing it'll say is exterior or interior or whatever. Scene, and I'll number the script, and I'll give everything numbers. Mm -hmm. And so interior, scene one, and it could say interior house, scene one, day. Okay? Now, as you go through a script and you read it, my job is to make sure all those headers are good for production. Those headers represent a new scene, but it also is very important information, and it seems very small. But oftentimes a writer, when he goes to sell a script, he'll just say uh, interior house continued. Now, right. continued has no meaning. I don't know what time of day continued is. I have to, I have to correct that. Right. Which means I'm not only breaking the script down, I'm actually reformatting the script so that when I deliver the script back to you, you're getting a numbered script back. Mm -hmm. You're also going to get a script with corrected headers and all the transitions. And I may even add some scenes in there that you didn't realize that you had. For example, the writer may write, they drive in the car because he wants to sell the script. He's selling a story idea. Right. But I'm not going to necessarily shoot it that way or at least account for it, the elements that way. So it could be that he starts in his house, interior house. He's in the den. He gets a phone call. He answers the phone. And as he's talking on the phone, he walks out the door. He's on his cell phone, so he gets in his car. And now he's in his car and he drives down the street. And he gets to the stoplight and he makes a left. And then he gets hit by another car. Okay. Sounds like one scene, but maybe there's going to be some cuts in there. So I might have scene one, interior house, scene two, exterior house, mm -hmm. or scene one, interior house, scene one, A, front of the house, scene one, B, at the accident, so that we can identify each element. I'll then go through and I'll say, okay, so we've got his cell phone. Do we need to see what's on the cell phone, what's on the front of it? Do we want to see the collar? Is it a face? We've got to take that picture of that person's face. We have to get a cleared phone number on that phone, and we have to have a cleared phone because Apple's not going to want us using an Apple logo unless we pay for Apple. Right. The same with Samsung or Motorola or whoever. Now, that's not to say that they won't say yes, but right now I have to mark that down. And so I go through each element and I break it down. Costume, day, night, location. And once I've broken out each, each scene and I've identified all the elements, and what I'll do when I do that is I'll circle things, highlight things with different colors, anything I can do to make it easily and quickly viewable. So I can flip to that scene and go, okay, interior scene night. Now, I personally will write the names of all the actors in that scene right at the top of the scene. So no matter what happens, I can always look back and make sure, because this is, you know, one of those nightmares, do we account for everybody? Is everybody there? Because yeah. they don't want to schedule a scene and they go, where's Bill? I'm like, oh, he's at his house in Vienna. Oh, I forgot to call him. So we don't want to make those mistakes. That's yeah. a, a nightmare of, of young ADs. 
And so that's how you break down the script, at least drawing out the elements. Then that information goes into a schedule, which is done in a program called Movie Magic. There are other programs. There's Gorilla and others. I use Movie Magic. Mm -hmm. And that information I then schedule and I'll give back to the producer. And then he'll go, ah, you've got it for 90 days. I said, yeah, well, look what you wrote. This is War and Peace. You know, it's a 1,500-page novel. Now, now we work together and we create what works best for him. 